Hi, John here. Today it's Tuesday the 6th of March 2018. I want to show you my kinnis today. I went to get in Mangari. Have a look. Take a look at this. Here you go. It's about filled this big bowl. There's a big, big bowl. I'll zoom in. That's, these come from the South Island, I think. They cost quite a bit. And here's the other one there. It's about full of the plate up. There. It'll be gone before long. Get some bread and into it. Here's my dinner, Morris. $8 for one, $7 for the other. They're very expensive. They're very expensive. Oh, hang on. Eight dollars. No, no, nine. It was sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars something for both. Anyway, I like my killers. I, I, I was getting about eight for that much of the killers from um, Waiheke Island. Now, after that, <coughs> in Mangri, I went to Manukau to the warehouse station to copy this book, just apostoly, and uh, it's 47 pages, and you can see it online, but I sent this book to Jacinda Odin uh, yesterday online, <coughs> and to Winston Peters, Jacinda Odin, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Winston Peters, <coughs> the Governor General, Patsy Reddy, John Martin, Chief of Navy, and Nader Glavish, the leader of the Runanga or Nazi Fatu. Those people. And Theresa May, Prime Minister of Britain. I'm still to send one to the British Royal Navy of this to stop the TPPA threat on our country tomorrow. They're signing the documents. They go ahead and sign. I'm telling them not to sign. I'm telling Jacinda not to sign because they have no title to New Zealand. We're holding the title. It's in here. The title is in here. <coughs> and if they sell it, their plan to the TPPA, then it's going to libel those other countries. The ten other countries will be liable. There's the picture here. Jacinda and Winston Peters and Te Waikato Whare Here Here Manaka, the paramount chief of Mangatoturi Mountain and his memorial, rock stone here, next to his Punga Punga Marae. They changed the crown runangas in Tainui, changed the name to Pohara, that means poor people. And I'm putting it back to its Punga Punga Marae, the native title to this country, to the whole country. And this man signed with King George IV a private contract of Admiralty. <coughs> King George IV here, and King William IV, his brother here, and Te Waikato contract with the flag, <coughs> the 1834 flag, to King William IV, and the contract with King George IV, the brother. 1823, the brother made a contract with Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau, gave him the name Prince. <coughs> and <coughs> that's the First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones in Britain, UK, our partner, our legal partner to these two kings, the emperors, and this paramount chief the title to New Zealand. So if Jacinda Ardern and Winston Peters signs the TPPA agreement, the CPPPA, progressive um, something, progressive uh, um, something, Trans-Pacific Trade Partnership Agreement <coughs> in the 11 states, if they sign that agreement, then they're libeling the whole 
of the other 10 countries 970 million trillion trillion pound note on their head and a bounty of 1 trillion pound note on their heads on their birth certificates is a hundred uh, a billion uh, a trillion pounds okay a trillion pounds on the birth certificate currently their birth certificate is worth 100 million they're stealing that money off you I'm exposing them I'm exposing them that's the 970 million trillion trillion pound note with Ernest Augustus King Ernest Augustus the fifth the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover and Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands and 250 countries in the world with this leg over here. Okay. So this book is <coughs> in binding up and it has the trillion pound note here. Bounty on your head, Winston Peters and Jacinda Ardern. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. This is real and it's ready to pounce on somebody's head and the water money currency for the whole world there on the King's Empress title in Britain. I'm writing to Theresa May. I've accidentally dropped the uh, email into her um, email box of uh, Winston Peters and so she's got it now. Uh, the federal rules applies to our flag here. Look, The federal rules applies to this country right now with me. I'm the executor of this Emperor's title to this country, New Zealand. I'm warning you the evidence that is self authenticating here. I'm saying I'm my own competent witness. That means I know more than a lawyer how this works. Because you don't have title Winston. You don't have title. The Winston surname is Peters. There ain't no Peters in this native title. Not at all. And defraud. Defraud the public of New Zealand with Ngāti Whātua o Oraki. I've got those photos there. I'm going to put them in this book at the back. Of Naira Greywich, the leader of the Ngāti Whātua, and joining up with Ngāti Whātua o Oraki in Auckland, their business. Their crooked fraud business. Defraud. You see, I've got the laws right here. To stamp on your heads. So don't think I'm fool, I'm not. And these Jacinda Ardern, uh, I mean um, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, the police that lost the case against me, this woman here, lost the case on Cook Street. I'm going to take Cook Street back and my coat of arms here and the rest of that here on that page with our partner is Sir Philip Jones of the Royal British Navy. That's our legal partner with this to apostolise. When I apostolise this is the law of New Zealand. So I'm saying I'll just take over the whole business of the government. Everything. Lock, stock and barrel with the British. The only ones that lose their jobs are these crooked ones that are running the scam legacy of fraud that John Key left behind and all the other ones before him, Helen Clark, all of them, they get a trillion pounds on their head, all of them. The Papa is in here, the crooked Papa of Ngāti Whātua is in this book, to show you the fraud. I'm identifying the fake Papa of Ngāti Whātua where all the treaty claims came out of and Nada Glavish is behind it and all those Graham Latimer, all those other ones that died have left a string of legacy of fraud. And Tira Waikato, the woman, and they took that Tira Waikato chief here and turned him into a woman. The, this, this chief here, Jacinda Ardern, this chief here and me on this Punga Punga Marae in Arapuni, that my father-in-law, Peter Mihinui, that's his house I've got at the back here that was unceremoniously shifted by Tainui. I'm going to put it right back where it belongs, next to the rock. Okay? That's Peter Mehinui's house. That's the house I lived in with my family. Okay? My wife and my kids. Alright? And here I am claiming that's Marae and that stone memorial back to the Punga Punga Moriori 
Hapu. That tiny way, you're going to get the bill for stealing the title of Te Waikato and giving it to Ngāti Whātua in Auckland and joining up all your thuggery pirates from Australia. <clears throat> and I'm pointing to the eight-point star of St. Patrick here on our flag. I'm going to use that flag on you because that's the highest order of the King's Admiralty Court Martial Law in the world. And there's Morris Baker and me in Tahike Marae Native Magistrate Court. We opened that up and there's <coughs> the Chief Bundy Waitai, Iliwini Kraka, myself and Manahi, where my authority has come out of for this flag. Anybody using this flag in your government, you're going to get hung. I'm going to hang you for using this flag without our authority. Anybody that hasn't got a contract with the British. It's a British flag and I'm wearing the coat of arms here to speak for the King. Nobody else. No one else is going to speak for the King. And there's the Papa of Maura Hoffman Russell. The Russell family, John Russell family, and their Whakapapa to Pu Puhi Rahiri and um, Kube. And it's the correct Whakapapa, I tell you. The Whakapapa that's there now with Ngāti Whātua is corrupted. It's not real. The real one is here. You see what they came from Britain for in London? They went to Hokianga up here to go after these big Kauri trees. The trade with that trade. And I put all the stories in behind it. I've got the book from Maura and she's sticking with me and I'm sticking with her in the British arriving here in 1820, before 1820 in Hokianga. That's where everything started from with the British and then on to Te Rawaikato in 1823, King George IV was coronated, he got his coronation. The Queen has no coronation, it's all bullshit. I'm telling you now, there's no coronation, there's no seal here of the Queen, there's no seal of Westminster. They've actually got nothing to send her to go on. So I'm going to boot you fellows with this. I'm going to boot you fellows with this, because you can't carry on creating fraud after fraud after fraud after fraud. You're in it. If you don't refute this tomorrow at four o'clock, if you don't refute this, then I'm going to force it on you. I'm going to enforce it and apostolize it into law. And there's nothing you can do about it because you haven't got a title. None of you got a title. I haven't seen anybody to try me. And you'll get this trillion pound note on your head. Your boss, the Queen, has to pay for that. The Rothschild Bank has to pay for the balance of your wealth. I tell you, I'm going to take the whole lot off you. I'm, I'm going to take it off the whole lot of you. And the ones who have died, and the ones who are there retired. Stephen Joyce running away. Bill English running away. You're not going to get far. John Key running away. You're all running away from this. It's coming after you. There's a contract on your heads, all of you. The whole lot of you in Parliament and the retired ones are going to shut you all down. I'm going to shut you all down for doing this to my ancestors' memorials. And down the East Coast on my land too, he did the same thing to my ancestors' Wittaha's memorials. Changed it all around and put an Iwi Maori Crown Authority on it. For doing this to my ancestors, this is my family's, my wife's tupuna. Okay, the Mihinui's Tupuna, I'm going to stick it to you. I'm going to stick the law of those three kings, King William III, King William IV and his brother King George IV. I'm going to stick all their acts on your head because I've put them in here. I've got them in here. Okay, it's shortened right up. I'm going into the lawyer, Tony um, Fortune. I got an email today to say he's away this week. He'll be back next week. And for me to make arrangements to go and see him. Well, I'm going to see him. But I'm up north in the Maori Land Court in Whangarei. I'm going to stir that lot up. I'm taking this book and sticking it right in front of him. See who jumps. See who jumps. I'm going to make you fellas suffer as much as I have suffered and everybody else has suffered in this country. The hapu I'm talking about. You've stolen all the hapus, papa, And I'm going to get it back off you. I'm going to get it back off you and give it back to the hapus.
Okay, that's my goal. That's what I'm put here for. To get everything back that doesn't belong to you. You've stolen it and you've used all its power for your own financial investment interests. So that's the book, people. And once again, Tainui, I'm going to sting the whole bloody lot of you for shifting this bloody house of Peter Meehnewitz here. For shifting that house. I'm making a big issue out of it. It's a big debt on your heads. It will bankrupt you all for shifting that away from this big rock here. You had no right to do that. I know those people there. I know those old people there. Before you bastards come along with your Iwi Maori thuggery in Paris and try me out, anybody of you. Try and take me to court. If the police lost, you'll lose because the police are covering you up. Without the police out of my road, you're fair game. Right in front of you. I'll pick you off one by one. Got it? You got it? I'm by myself. I don't need a big band of you bandits. I'll do everything myself with the facts, the titles that got you on the fucking land in the first place. You don't have any clear titles. You've only got occupation titles and I can end the occupation titles and the British will seize them again, the same as they did in Okiata up north when Hongi Hika, Hongi Hiki cut the flag down. They came and seized the whole lot and the French titles down the South Island well, they're just about ready to take the whole bloody lot back now. Okay, got that? Because I'm ordering them to adhere to this apostasy. I'm making sure you see it first before the lawyer, before the courts, before the government sees it, so everybody knows what it is. The government here is not going to jam it up. I'm going to jam them up. You can see them run like flies when this comes, because it's stung them, it's got them. Okay, that's what I want to say. I'll eat my kinners now and get on with some work. I'm going to go up, catch the bus early in the morning up north, Mana bus. Go and see um, the roads blocked going through Pai here, so I'm not going that way, I'm going to Kawa Kawa anyway. And Morris picked me up, I'm going to sort his uh, lands out in the Maryland court. That's not a hard job for me, I know them back to France. Don't get in my road, any of you, Maris. Don't get in my road when it comes to titles and British titles and whakapapa, British whakapapas, because I'm right in all that lot in Northern Ireland and Scotland. Okay, they're waiting for me there with this flag. It's not a Maori flag. It's not a whakaminia flag. It's a contract flag. You're did too dumb to know that what a flag is. You, 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 you don't use it for the right reasons because none of you went to school to learn all this thing I got. You don't know. You just don't know and you haven't got the information to back up what you want to do with it. Flying a flag is not legal. It's not legal. This is legal. This is legal. It's going to be legal and apostolized to go to Britain. When it goes there, that's the end of your life. Okay, you got it? You become tenants because this land, unless you got a government of your own, this is a government. This is a Moai federal state government with this flag. It's a federal state flag government. That's what that is. And the titles to Britain. You have to buy them off them. You don't buy them off the New Zealand. You buy them off Britain if you want them back. Because it's got all their people on it and all the other people. Okay, that's all. See ya. Bye. Have a nice night.